As we know, there are many factors that played into why Anakin fell to the dark side, but probably one of the biggest ones was due to him being rejected the rank of master. The reason he needed this was so he could get into the restricted sections and learn of a way to save Padme from death. But when he was refused, it only furthered his point that the Jedi did not trust him, or more specifically, Mace Windu did not trust him. But why did the Jedi and Mace Windu not grant Anakin the rank of master? And when looking at all of his feats, it really seems like a stupid and pointless decision. It really seems like a stupid and pointless decision to not make him a master. But the reason Mace Windu did not grant Anakin the the rank of master is actually a lot more interesting than you may initially think. If you're like me and many others, I'm sure you're curious on why Anakin was not a master even though he was on the council. He himself said that this was unheard of a Jedi to join the council that was not a master, but he also overlooks the fact that he is one of the youngest Jedi of all time to join the council. But in order to become a master, there was a few things a knight had to do, one of which was fully train a Padawan to knighthood, which Anakin did not, as Ahsoka walked out on the Jedi Order before she was granted the rank of knight. They also had to show an excellent understanding of the Force and be fully able to trust the Force and follow it without giving in to the dark side. And for Anakin, that was very difficult. There was multiple occasions where Anakin forgot the Jedi Code and gave into his anger to win the battle. But back to the Padawan point, there was many Jedi Masters who actually did not train any Padawans, such as Yaddle, who just showed an extreme understanding of the Force and showed an unwavering connection to the light side of it. And Anakin had shown that he was a model Jedi. He was the reason that countless lives and planets were saved. In only three years, he completed multiple feats that took many Jedi Masters' entire lives to do. And when Anakin confided in Obi-Wan about this, Obi-Wan would tell him that it was because the Council did not fully trust Palpatine, and how it was not the Chancellor's place to select a council member to be his personal representative. That was the Jedi's job. And while this seems like a very mediocre answer, it actually is it's probably one of the main reasons Anakin was not granted the rank of master. To Mace Windu and the other Jedi, this seemed like a ploy for Palpatine to get inside information on the Jedi Council. And this disturbed the Jedi because recently, Palpatine was getting more and more power and starting to use it. And on top of that, it is explained in the novelization of Revenge of the Sith, the Senate also gave Palpatine even more power which allowed him to directly control the Jedi Order and the clone army, which meant they had to directly report to him about anything concerning the war. And because the Senate largely supported Palpatine, there was little the Jedi could do. But the thing that shocked them the most was Palpatine's move to make Skywalker a council member. But seeing how they had little choice, they let him on. But Mace Windu made sure to keep him a knight so he had limited control and also so he couldn't vote in the council affairs. Which meant in return, Palpatine had little control. This basically meant that Mace and the others didn't trust Anakin, but rather they didn't trust Palpatine. Because before the invasion of Coruscant, the Jedi were starting to close in on the Sith Lord and found out that he was within Palpatine's inner circle. Which I already made a video about and why the Jedi thought it was impossible for Palpatine to be Sith Lord. And they were most likely controlling him for their Sith affairs. And the Jedi knew that if they allowed Anakin the rank of master and the ability to vote on the council, it would ultimately lead to the Sith Lord having a vote on the council. But thanks to the range of the Sith novelization, we actually get an in-depth answer on why Mace Windu did not want Anakin to have the rank of master. He says, Skywalker is arguably one of the strongest Jedi alive, and he is getting stronger. But he is unstable. You know that. We all do. It is why he cannot be given the rank of mastership. We must keep him off the council despite his extraordinary gifts. And as much as Obi-Wan wanted to argue with him, he couldn't deny that this was indeed true. As well as being unstable, Anakin also had a tendency of letting his emotions and feelings control him. He often put many missions in the lives of others at risk so he could save a few friends. And for Mace Windu and the other Jedi, this was not acceptable because the Jedi were not meant to have any attachments and if the need insisted, let go of everyone else to save and complete the mission. And I beg you to forgive me, I'm about to make a Star Trek reference, but this really does fit in here. The need of the many outweigh the need of the few, which is something Anakin clearly did not listen to. And to Mace Windu, this was the reason Anakin could not become a master, because he knew that he'd use his newfound abilities to risk everyone to save a friend, as well as letting the Sith Lord have more influence over the Jedi Order. But despite their best efforts against the Sith Lord, Darth Sidious in the end got what he wanted. But anyway, that is the reason the Jedi Council, or more specifically, Mace Windu, did not want Anakin as a master. What are your thoughts on this? Make sure to like and subscribe, and comment down below if you think they made the right choice. And with that, my fellow Star Wars nerds, may the Force be with you.